Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Handmade crafts by LaSalle K. Ooh, yes. Hello, how you doing? I hope everyone is great. I hope everyone is well. I wish everybody prosperity, abundance, um, just great health, you know, just, yeah. Hello, how y'all doing? I'm just happy y'all here today. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell everybody. Yes. So yes, I appreciate the love and support. I've been reading your comments. I've been taking some of the suggestions and yep, I got some more videos coming out for y'all soon. Well, you know I post once a week, but yeah, got some more stuff to share. So yes, <clears throat> don't mind me. <laughs> Anywho, let me not make this too long because I am going to do a full tutorial on waste beads made with wax cotton cord. So here we go. Here's the presentation. Boom. Yeah. So we're going to do this today. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. If you haven't joined the LaSalle K family, Handmade Crafts by LaSalle K. <laughs> Join us. We are an informative bunch. And yes, nothing but positive energy, right? Yes, especially when you're making waste beads. Nothing but positive energy. So, um, I'm not going to even go through the whole thing because in my previous video, I showed y'all how I manipulated the cotton to B because this is 1mm uh, wax wax coated cotton cord that I purchased from Amazon. So yeah, so I did that already, but I do have to set up. So don't mind me. Got my bead along spinach in here. Um, my bead. So I forgot my little metal spoon thingy. So I improvised. So you know that's life. We just gotta do. We gotta do. And I need a spoon because it just makes things easier. I got my little, oh, I got my little grippy things on my fingers. Nope, still don't know the name for it. I brought this, these needles just in case I had to manipulate the string, but it's okay. And I brought my new needles and the beads. So I didn't have time to sort out these beads, but we just gonna throw them all in there and just go with the flow and see what we make you know this is not even like plan you just make what you gonna make and see what happens so yeah so today i'm making orange so my previous video that particular customer didn't even want orange but it was all right because like i said i want to show y'all how to use the wax cotton um the wax coated cotton cord that's just a tongue twister i'm about to make that short so <laughs> yeah let me get a needle so yeah so this particular customer would like orange today i'll use this the other day so i think that'll be all right i think it'll be all right i'm not gonna use a long one so um yeah orange with a little design most of the customers i get they just tell me to freestyle so <laughs> that's what we gonna do freestyle um i have my um tape measure yeah so i make them long and you know you just have to cut them down to your size and sometimes some people wear the size i usually cut around so being that I have to manipulate the cotton, I'm cutting about anywhere between 50 to 60 inches. So anywhere between that, I'm making that long. This particular customer does, I'm, you know, I've observed and measured this person, so they don't need it that long. But for the purposes of just manipulating the cotton, I made it long so I have that extra space. Um, I'm going to tie the end like so. So I have my little knot. 
And yeah, let's get started. Where did I put the needle? Here we go. I don't want to mess up my nails, so let's use the scissor. Try to get it open. This is the the big eye needle. The big eye needle. Hope you can see that. So I string this through. So I was using it like that. Okay. So I put these on if I have a problem with um so I like a little bend to my needle. If I have a problem with gripping and holding on, I'll put that on. Okay, so since I got this short needle, this may take some time. Um so I'll try to be as fast as I can. So yeah, so I had to put them on to put the string to but I prefer really not to put these on because it kind of mess up my flow, but it does make stuff easier. But my hands are so ashy, I can't grip the needle how I want. So <laughs> yeah, I'm a piece of work. So anywho, yeah, this particular client, um, oh. so, all right, I was about to tell a story until this happened. This is going to happen in any string. The, the bead may not fit. So if you force it through, you may break the needle. So I try not to really force it through. I try to just thread it out because, um, you know, you could break the needle. In this case, oh, I need to see. So that's with any, any string that happens. So I just usually put that to the side and continue on. Because keep in mind, like I said in a previous video, that although the beads say um for instance this is a six size six it's not a definite size six it's like approximately a size six so these little gold beads are actually a size eight but some of them the opening is a little larger than the other so see in this case that won't work either so yeah that's gonna happen with any any um, string. You're gonna have situations like that. So, luckily with this string and this needle, it stops right there. When you have a longer needle in the other string, it'll stop here and your bees be all the way up there. You have to take all the bees off just to accommodate the one. And in that case, I just usually go on, take one of my um tools and break that bead and just keep going because that just be a lot of beads to go put back it's my opinion but you could do what you want but yeah let me see i'm trying to get a gold bead so with this string being that is a size um one mm um the size eight b varies so you see that bead just went on this that gold bead is a size eight and the orange bead is a size six so you'll find some that will fit and you'll find some that won't so it, it's just depending on your patience and how you want to be even with some of the size six beads they do that so it just depends now i want to put that one on there let's see how that'll work out let me get a gold bead. I have a mixture of beads in this little thing here. So I just threw some beads in. Is that gonna fit? I don't wanna break my needle. There you go. Let's see if this little blue bead will fit. So these blue beads, which I purchased from Amazon, I don't know if you can see it. 
It came in a little kit, which I actually like it. Those are glass beads. Um, you know what's crazy? They don't even tell you what size it is. But you have to play with that little kit and you'll figure it out. So there we go. So yeah, um, this particular customer wanted some orange beads. They love orange, so I said no problem. I don't know where I left both in my story because I was just a straight up distraction. Don't mind me. <laughs> so anywho, um, I purchased some other string that I'm waiting for to come in the mail. I purchased it from Amazon. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but um, one of my subscribers suggested to try it, which I was very excited about that she suggested me, you know, to try it because I like to get opinions and experiences from people, you know, and I could just share the information. So yeah, this particular subscriber was telling me about this string and I ordered it. I'm waiting for it to come. I'm gonna do a tutorial on it. Um, after the tutorial, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna test it myself and test it on my tester because I do have people that test my product and let me know. And I'm gonna get back to you on that. So I'm not gonna tell you what kind of string it is because then it will ruin a surprise. But yeah, that's coming up. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm also, somebody asked me about a pop-up shop. I'm planning to attend a pop-up shop in August. I don't know which one yet, I haven't decided, but I kind of want to stay in the Harlem area. Um, I haven't did a pop-up, well, been, I haven't um, been vendored. Oh, that's the word. I haven't vendored in a pop-up shop in Harlem yet. And um, Harlem week is coming up and everything like that. So I really want to... Um, been around that time which is in august it takes place in august so yeah i want to do that this is um this is freestyle i'm freestyling so it's not a distinct pattern i'm just putting the beads on the string with different colors and styles and stuff so i'm just freestyling that's what um when my customer says they want something freestyle, that's what they generally mean. Just, you know, do what you think is nice. And I like that. Because that means you trust me with my opinion. In my opinion, be right 99.9% .9 of the time when it comes to my waist beads. That's when I'm talking about my beads. So, yeah. Now... I know I was talking about the pop-up shop, but I wanted to just say this real quick. So none of these beads, only one of these beads turn colors, and that's the gold. The gold changes colors, and it doesn't really change colors. The gold peels off and it turns clear. Now, the reason why I'm using the gold, although it turns clear after a while, is because a lot of my clients like that they like how it transitions they like the look of it i also let them know that the gold will turn they understand that and they don't mind it and they actually report back to me like oh it looks nice and you know it really doesn't matter when i purchased the beads i didn't purchase it under the impression that i knew it was going to turn colors but um you know you find out later on that they do turn colors turn clear it scratches off and turns clear and you know i continue to use it despite of that because i didn't receive any complaints and i asked and i told them what they do so i test everything you see the bees i test them out myself and i have my testers wear it and stuff like that so um yeah now gold purple pink colors like that are hard 
even like them bright greens and stuff like a, a lime green or a neon green colors like that changes colors so i'm not saying nowhere in the world they don't have beads like that that don't change colors because they do but i haven't found them yet when i do i shall let y'all know so yeah that's that's with that so I like, I particularly, if I'm gonna have a gold that change colors, I, I rather have this because the color it changes to is a nice clear. The other golds that I've seen just, it looks cheap after it changed colors. And I prefer the bead to still look good if it's gonna change color, might as well let it look good. But you know, this is for now. This is temporarily, everything is a learning experience. I put the disclosures on my website so my customers are aware that some beads, meaning the gold, change the color. And the color this scratches off to is clear. I actually like that. Ooh. But yeah, so the orange and little glass kind of colors you see here those do not change colors at all and these are check beads and i did link um in a previous though my my haul my bead haul i i um linked all the check beads and the other beads in there so yeah i probably link this too sometimes i forget to link stuff I just be going see that. I need a vacation. This is my part-time job. I have a full-time job and another full-time job. So I'm always doing something. But this beating for me, this is my entertainment. Like I love to do this. This is something that brings peace in my world. You know, peace from the world. So I enjoy beading. This is not a project. It is not something that, oh yeah, I can make money off of this. This is actually something that I like to do. And I can, you know, and I've been making money off of it, but the plan wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm going into this doing, you know, trying to make bank. This is just something I enjoy doing. And I said, well, you know, I can make some money off of it, so. Yeah, I just, I really just like how you could just express yourself. Literally, like, express yourself. Whatever you feel, you think look right, however you feel. Yep, you could do it right with the beads. And, you know, other forms of art. But I like to do beads, so... I just like the fact that I can express myself in this manner. So, I probably should have used a longer needle. That's why it's taking so long because my needle is mad short. But I didn't want to, um, ah! That went in my finger. That's either good for that too. But I didn't want to open up another needle I be trying to save my needles. <laughs> you know, I be breaking needles all the time, so I be feeling bad. <laughs> I'm ordering a pack of needles a week. Something is wrong with that picture. Yeah, keep in mind that the needles are sharp at the end. I am forever poking myself with the needle. <sighs> this is probably the third YouTube video I had when I poked myself with that damn needle. But, you know, that's why my hands be all crusty and ashy. Because I'm doing this, this work. So anyway, yeah. Back to my little rant. <laughs> um, if you have any suggestions or anything on the string, string for now, I'm very picky with my beads because... 
I have, you see how uniform the beads are? These are check beads, very, very uniform. I prefer to have beads that's very, very uniform like that. Like it just looks right, it looks nice. It looks nicer to me as opposed to um, the Japanese seed beads that's just, which nothing wrong with it, you know, to each his own, I'm not knocking it. I'm not even knocking them beads, but I just don't like, it's in different shapes. I don't like that. I don't like the different shape aspect of it. So that's why I like these, you know, some more uniform look. So um, if you have any suggestions on string, you know, let me know. Um, I'm open to trying it, you know. I have no problem with trying it. Um, so somebody, another subscriber suggested fishing line, which I have seen people use a fishing line. Thing about the fishing line is you have to glue it together, or at least the person I saw was gluing it together. And this string in particular and the fire line string that I use, I burn that. I burn it. Um, so the fire line string, which you'll see in a previous video, that string, um, I put a clasp on it, which um, I have customers that prefer beads with the clasp. They like to take it on and off. There's nothing wrong with that. So um, I use that in this cotton cord. I could burn this as well. You burn this when you put it on. You, you just don't tie it on and leave it because it'll come apart. You have to burn it so it wax down. That's why it's wax coated. So, um, yeah, so you could like wax it down. So I prefer to use that. Now the gluing part of the, the fishing line, you know, I could just, <laughs> I could just see that going all wrong only because the clientele I get, you know, these are everyday working people, not saying nothing negative, but like they always move and they have kids and they always doing something and that glue is just not gonna hold it. So, you know, even the ones, some of them who purchased the ones with the class, that didn't work. So, um, I sent them one of these. Like, you know, you have to have it tied on because your everyday lifestyle is not gonna be compatible with the class one. Those are more delicate and dainty, you know? So, yeah, so I, that's why I didn't want to try the fishing line. But, you know, if you have any suggestions on how else, because the only way I could see using that too is with the clasp. So if you know any suggestions on how else I can use it and manage it and stuff, let me know. Let me know. I am open to options. I am open to try it and I'm open to show y'all what works and what don't. So I am gonna apologize for this video being so long and probably me babbling on, but at least I'm saying something important. So yeah, but we're almost done. Um, I just wanted to do this full tutorial because you know, I promised that I was gonna do a whole tutorial because the other one was kind of half-assed. I really just wanted to show you how to use the string. But then I'm like, oh, you know, let me do a tutorial, a whole one, to show everything. So you see how it comes out and everything. Because, you know, I personally will recommend that you purchase this string. If you have the patience, purchase this string. If you don't, don't. Because you have to manipulate it at the beginning to get the needle and stuff through. But it lasts for a very long time. So I've been getting great reviews and for myself, still got one 
I made four beads out this string for myself and have them all on. So now, one of my beads popped when I was eating. So, <laughs> and I was eating red lobster at that. <laughs> you, it, you know, it was the bomb. I haven't had red lobster since 2019 before the pandemic so when i got that red lobster i just tore it up and my bees popped now i say that to say this there have been questions on if my bees pop can i use the same bees to to string them on the string again no lie no lie all the bees that i did that to popped off again so I know I'm not supposed to do that because when the bees pop, it actually means like, it doesn't mean nothing negative, but it's just more like, they don't wanna be on you anymore. I don't take it negative. Um, it's just this time to come off. The bees, and some gemstone bees at that, some gemstone bees, if they pop off, that's definitely a sign of something. Just leave them off. So any, beads you know you set your intention any waste beads you set your intentions to it you put them on um and when you put them on you know if they pop or it actually is a meaning to it and no you're not supposed to put them back on with my experience like i said the ones that i put back on actually pop back off so after that, I was just like, oh, shoot. So the ones that popped when I was eating, I took it as a sign that I need to stop eating so much, which it was no problem. But I also, that was a beat that I had redid. So the second do over, that's when it popped and I left them all. But I do save the gemstones. So I save the stones and I keep them some under my pillow some in my pocket, um, you know, depending, depending on what's going on. I, sometimes I keep some in my car. Um, I do keep the ones that popped off. I keep them around so I don't like throw them away or anything. So yeah, and then when the moon, the full moon comes, I put them in the moon, like, and let them recharge and all of that. Cause I do have um, clear quartz. Yeah, clear quartz. I always get that name messed up, but I have that too. So you know, amplify, amplify, amplify <laughs> the beads and the um the stones. So yep. That's what I do, but, you know, waste bees, they are sacred, you know, um, they do have meaning, you know, they do. You don't have to go and get them blessed, you bless them yourself, because you're supposed to bless them with your intentions for your bees. So, yep. I just want to give that information because I did get asked that quite often. And um, yeah, but when they pop off, don't take it as negative. People say negative things like, oh my God, something's wrong, something's wrong. Yeah, I got some negative energy. And it don't mean that unless you're a negative person and you know, <laughs> yeah. But if you're not and they pop, something as simple as you eating too much. That just indicates you got to slow down. <laughs> That's it, you know. Um, maybe when if you a person that's busy, busy all the time and they pop off, then you need to slow down, take a break. Don't think of it as something negative because it's not negative all the time. It's just a reminder. So, yep. almost done. I'm not going to do the whole string because like I was saying 
this person didn't even need that long string. But for demonstration purposes, just wanted to show you. So I'll be sitting here, beating and thinking, plotting and planning good things. That's what I do, and that's what gives me peace. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to stop right here just for the purposes of this video. I am going to add a couple more beads on it just in case. But, yeah. So what you wanna do after that is you want to even them out. So you like pushing them down. You want tying room, that's why. So in this case, this person has a lot of tying room. See? Even them out, they have space to tie. You don't have to make this much space, but like I said, I'm gonna add a few more beads to it. But um, you got your tie-in space. You knot them, knot, knot it at the end like that. And there you have it. You have your beads. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get this person, I could tie it on them and record it. So I could show you how to burn it. Cause I didn't really actually show like how, I show how to burn it, but when you see me burning it on somebody, you know. So there you go. That's the beads. Um, yup. That's it. When she gets the beads, she is going to set her intentions. I'll probably be tying them on. I know I'm gonna be tying them on and burning them running the ends, you know, together, and that is all, so I thank you for joining me today, um, you know, I'm just happy that y'all continuously support me, and, you know, next time, I will see y'all, I hope you have a great day, great week, see you next time, thank you for joining me, I hope I taught you something, at least with this string here, and soon, hopefully, I'll be um, showing you the other string. So, yeah. And I'm going to test it and everything after I show you how I'm going to be the be with that string. After I test it and stuff, I'll let you know how it goes. So, yep, it's going to be live with that one. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I will see y'all later. Peace. I'm out. Hehehe. <laughs>